tours. You can't see everyone on that list, but there's no bots and you have all these guys. Guess there's no races to do outdoors, so everybody's lining up indoors. Get my heart rate up there. <coughs> so uh, this is the actual cap for mentor course so you got a short little rip down the coast it's maybe five or six k's can't even remember 
and then you hit the uh, big climb towards uh, what is that Puerto Polenta and then you have a descent that climbs like it's like 15 minutes and then um, then you got a decent descent and then you got another longer hill with more flat sections within the hill but it's uh, quite a long tough hill then a descent and then you got a punchy four or five hundred meters up to the finish so <clears throat> if it's close going into the finish you got a dirty fight ahead of you but uh I'm gonna see I'm just gonna go as hard as the competition makes me but uh I don't know, I've seen some guys racing in RTT that are much better than I am, so just see how long I can hang. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, uh, just keep going for it. I'm going to try to play some don't have a music playlist ready so I might be having to switch around should try to hook up a whole playlist here anyways six minutes to go <clears throat> just fast forward to the stream or the part of the race you want to see I'm sure you don't want to see the whole thing but you're welcome to anyway
Well, that was my hardest effort yet. <coughs> Woohoo! But uh, I think I'm going to call that a silver medal because that, the power. Go back to a few spots on the hills and check out Dorio's power readings. He was like at 5 watts per kilo, then he'd accelerate to like 13 drop back down, accelerate back up to 10. He was doing crazy stuff like that. I don't know if a top pro could do stuff like that. I suppose it probably, yeah, probably, but I mean, why would you on a, just beat up on people who are, you're like thousands of watts better than not hundreds of watts. <laughs> Oh. Oh. We'll let uh, him meet. I think he, some of them are asking. Yeah, the second place guy is asking him about his power. Uh, he says he's an ex elite cyclist so yeah possible if he was a super talented elite I don't know oh finally the pedals release after a full effort then the pedals kind of lock up and you can't gear down Extra hard to get back to the front because of you. <sighs> I think my virtual experience gave me the upper hand today. from Spain is an ex-teammate of mine from uh, Team TBB and was much better pro triathlete than I was. He won lots of races, a lot, uh, quite a, won quite a few races, quite a lot, of, a lot of podiums. He was really good. <laughs> he, was, he was a level better than I was. So then randomly he was there and I saw Stephen B and I was like, Stephen Bayless, he lives in Spain still. Oh, I better catch back up. And he looked stronger than me by the numbers of the first hill. But it looks like he uh, went a little hard too early. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I was able to pop him on the second hill. But I know, I know how that works a little better. And, and that second hill has a lot of peaks and flats. So I'd work hard on the peaks and then try to sit in as good as I could on the little, when it flattens out a little. And so I could minimize my power. And I think it put a few of the other guys on that limit, whereas I could 